Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC along with these uh, two perpendicular segments uh, BD and uh, CE. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these two perpendicular segments uh, intersect each other at this point uh, F. And as a result, this segment uh, EF is uh, 9 units. Whereas this other segment uh, FC is uh, 25 units. And moreover, uh, this uh, segment uh, BF equals to this segment uh, FT. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side BC is being represented by X. And now our task is to find the value of uh, X. In other words, we are going to find this uh, side uh, BC length. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that this segment uh, BF equals to this segment uh, FD. If I label this segment as lowercase a, then this segment has got to be lowercase a as well. And now our task is to find the value of uh, A before we could calculate the value of X. And here's our uh, next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADB. And I'm going to label this angle as our angle uh, alpha. And this angle I'm going to label as uh, angle beta. And we know this angle is uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore, the sum of these two angles, alpha and beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. In other words, they are our complementary angles. And now let's focus on this other right triangle, uh, AEC. We know this angle is uh, alpha. I'm going to label uh, this angle as our angle uh, gamma. And this is our 90 degree angle. Then we can see the sum of these two angles, alpha and gamma, must be equal to 90 degrees as well, since they are uh, our uh, complementary angles uh, as well. And now we are going to compare these uh, two equations, since our right hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore, we can equate the left hand side, so alpha plus beta must be equal to alpha plus uh, gamma and now we can see alpha and alpha they are gone so therefore we conclude that our angle beta must be equal to our angle gamma so therefore we conclude that these uh, two angles uh, beta and gamma are equal they are identical so therefore, I could label uh, this uh, angle gamma as our angle beta. So therefore, we can label both of these angles uh, as uh, beta. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, BEF. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric ratio sine of theta is uh, equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So therefore, for this angle beta, our opposite side is uh, 9 and our hypotenuse is lowercase a. So therefore we could write uh, sine of our angle beta is going to be equal to 9 divided by a. And now we are going to focus on this other right triangle CDF. And once again we are going to apply the identity sine of theta equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So therefore, for this uh, triangle, for this angle uh, beta, our uh, opposite side is uh, lowercase a and our hypotenuse is 25. So therefore, uh, our sine of uh, angle uh, beta is going to be equal to a divided by 25. So therefore, we are ended up with these uh, two equations, sine of beta equals to 9 divided by a and this other equation sine of beta equals to a divided by 25. So therefore, if we compare these two equations, we can write uh, 9 divided by a equals to a divided by 25. 
so therefore we can write uh, 9 divided by a equals to a divided by 25 and now I am going to cross uh, multiply so therefore we can write uh, a times a become a square equals to 225 and now I am going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides so therefore our uh, lowercase uh, a value turns out to be 15 uh, units so thus our uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 15 and likewise uh, this lowercase a value is 15 uh, as well and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle BEF whose side lengths are uh, 9 and uh, 15 and now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets uh, 3, 4, 5 and I'm going to multiply each and every number by 3 then our new set of uh, Pythagorean triplets are going to be 9, 12 and 15 since we multiply 3 times 3 is going to be 9 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times 5 is 15 and now we can see our numbers are uh, 9 and 15 so therefore uh, this missing side B length has got to be 12 uh, units and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle BEC and now let's make an observation we can see its uh, side EC length has got to be 9 plus 25 is going to make uh, 34 units and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our two other legs are 12 uh, and 34 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 12 square plus uh, 34 square is going to be equal to x square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 144 plus uh, 34 square is 1156 uh, equal to x square so therefore our x square value is going to be equal to if we add these two numbers that's going to give us uh, 1300 and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and now let's focus on this uh, right hand side and here I have copied down square root of 1300 and now we can see 1300 could be written as uh, 100 uh, times uh, 13 and now we can split those one as uh, square root of 100 times the square root of uh, 13 and we can see the square root of 100 is simply 10 so therefore this whole thing has been simplified to 10 times uh, the square root of 13 so therefore we conclude uh, that our x value turns out to be 10 times the square root of uh, 13 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 10 times square root of 13 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye